Welcome to another edition of Broken Toast, and I am your host, the Misfits Messiah. I've been called upon by my higher power, Nipsey Russell, to dig through the bowels of YouTube looking for misfit gems. Those YouTubers whose videos does not get many views and whose channels does not get many hits. The weird, the odd, <laughs> the strange, the offbeat, the outsider, the wonderful. And present them here on my show where they can be appreciated and maybe even loved. So look and see what me and Nipsey Russell have for you this week. Mm. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Here it is, episode 11 of Broken Toast. Um, looking for misfits is kind of like a mystery in a way. It is. Because um, you don't know what you're going to get. And you got to keep looking, you know. Like uh, a detective. <laughs> so I, that's why I made the, the theme of like the, the NBC mystery movie. And because um, I used to like that show. I used to like to watch that as a kid with like McMillan and wife. Wasn't that fun? You know, and then Rock Hudson, I think, when, you know, in between, like, the way we were solving cases, I think he was out at bars, like, picking up twinks and things like that. And then he ended up leaving the show to go star in Charlie's Angels as one of the angels, and then it was just called Wife. Kind of got kind of boring after a while because it was just um, uh, Susan St. James, you know, trying to solve a crime, and it was just kind of, I don't know, whiny and boring. And then there was McLeod, uh, the escaped uh, lunatic from the asylum, and he thought he was this cowboy uh, cop thing or whatever, and he rode this horse that sometimes turned into a car. That was neat. And um, then later on, I always remember when they got Quincy. Quincy was kind of funny because, you know, he got kicked out of Odd Couple, and then he somehow became this coroner, and he would just scream through the show. And I always, my favorite episode is when he hooked up with the Super Friends, and he tried to, like, uh, you know, he was trying to make out with Wonder Woman, but then I think Aquaman and Batman kicked his ass. He ended up actually becoming a villain on that particular show. That was cool, too. Oh, uh, and then, of course, there was Columbo, and I used to like that, especially when sometimes he'd dress up in drag and try to, like, really fool him, but he couldn't because of that eye, you know? <laughs> oh, well, hey, let's get on to the show. Enough of that, okay? Axe Moose is a, is a misfit from Canada. You know what I say, all Canadians are misfits. <laughs> and um, I interviewed him uh, recently, and I had to put him on the show. And so this is what transpired when I um, tried to uh, talk to him. <laughs> Boy, I'm so happy to be interviewing one of my, one of my misfits, because I've, I've never got to do this yet. So this is um, my interview with Axe Moose. Uh, Axe Moose... Where did you get the name from? Okay, maybe that was a little personal. I apologize. Um, tell me about the, the, the specific themes of your vlogging. <laughs> Okay, I'll have to admit this isn't going very well, is it? Um, is it me? Uh, there's a connection here. Uh, is it something I'm saying? Not saying? Neck is killing me. Uh, what neck? No. What can you expect from retarded people, I guess? Well, I think I'm going to have to cut this interview short. And I will interview you next time when you um, have a better attitude and a cough drop. 
Mom. And a couple of Tums, too. Move along. There's nothing to see here. Well, at least that's the heading for um, Erie 13H channel. And he's a vlogger, and he's very adamant about his atheism, and that's what he seems to vlog about the most. And he is very intelligent, and he uh, really gets his point across. But he's still a misfit. And I just wanted to show you a couple of uh, uh, clips of his of his uh, vlogs. Hmm. And I'll give you a small demonstration that should settle once and for all the question of who wins this particular portion of our little vlog war, being the silly hat portion. You're all familiar with uh, this one. Love this one. It's a good one. It's not bad. And this is the one that was my entry. Yeah. You, uh, you got nothing. You got nothing. That's what you think, buddy. I got a fez. You don't. You getting the feeling like you're outclassed in this area? Hmm? Mm hmm Oh, dear. That's, that's one nurse I would not want to get an enema from. Looks like something out of Silent Hill. <laughs> okay. Here's the basic deal. I'm an atheist. This is known. I do not believe in Christianity. I do not believe in Judaism or Islam or Hinduism or Zoroastrianism or the Baha'i faith or the list goes on and on and on. It doesn't matter what I say. The only thing you're going to hear is the words from the lips of a child of Satan. Which pretty much means the conversation at that point is, well, useless with you. There's absolutely nothing I can say to someone with that mindset. Um, do you think it's, not, do you think maybe it's because, not that so much that you're an atheist, but that you kind of look like Anton LaVey and Sid Haig. Kind of like a mixture there. I don't know. Sorry. You're watching Broken Nest. Big Whoop Videos. Big Whoop Videos channel. And they do kind of like sketch comedy, things like that, this guy. And uh, kind of looks like Hurley from uh, Lost. You know? And uh, this video that I'm going to show you an excerpt from is called The Biggest Unboxing Video. Okay. Hi everybody, it's Cody from Big Whoop Videos, and my brother is man the camera. What's up? How am I doing, brother, with the camera? Am I doing good? Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I forgot my cameraman's hat. <laughs> I think you need one of these, brother. <laughs> okay. I was gonna wait, but I gotta open the big one. I was gonna save the best for last, but I can't wait. Oh, it's from my good friend Petrov. Greetings from Mother Russia, Cody. I hope all is well, and thanks for the DVDs. To return the favor, I sent something I knew you didn't have. A woman. Oh, boy. A woman. I need a woman, too. I was hoping with these uh, uh, videos I'd be finding one, but, man, you're lucky, dude. Whoa! Colton, look! It's a Russian woman. Her name is Christina Shonahonis. I'm gonna call you CJ. Look at her. She's so scared, but she's so cute. Well, with my luck, they'd probably send me toothless fat overalls. Or Citizen Kong, even. In fact, I think I'd take Citizen Kong if I had to, over a toothless fat overall, that is. Mm. I think I'll just stick to being alone. Mm. Math fail. 
this is his channel and he's got just an eclectic mix of everything on here but he likes to do this fountain vlog thing and he kind of looks like Jerry Seinfeld there but I wonder what's with the goggles then again, maybe I don't want to know safety goggles safety first okay. greetings youtubers and facebookers uh, fountain vlogs an update on finding out my major, my new plan A. Vlogging by fountains, that's kind of interesting and that's definitely unique and definitely deserves to be on the show. Um, but I would like to do, you know, if he wants to do a vlog with me, because I took a water pill last night, and let me believe you, if you want to see a fountain, <laughs> you should have saw me this morning. My name is Reverend Do Good. He loves lemon catfish. At least that's what it says on his page there. And he's definitely a misfit. And since he's a reverend, I wonder if he has a calling from Nipsey Russell. But uh, just take a look at this guy. I'll give you a little bit of a snippet of what he does. And he's trying to enter this uh, Sunkissed Lemon contest if you want to go to his page. And then you could just, uh, you know, uh, sign up on Facebook and give him a vote. You know I love you. Oh, I love you too. Mm. Yes, indeed. Oh, hey, I didn't know y'all see me. Hold on, right quick. That's a whole lot better, don't you think so? I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all caught me in the middle of something. You know, I was with someone. Well, let's go ahead and put it out there. I was with that lemon, okay? What? Mmm. Mmm. Tastes kind of good. <clears throat> this is Joe Brown Third's channel. I don't know what happened to the uh, other two, but. He, he uh, rates uh, other people's videos on here, so let's just take a quick look at him and see what he's got to say. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, behind you! Behind you! Uh-uh. Ain't happening. <laughs> this is lame or awesome! And we have three really cool videos. The first one is called Guy Dancing in Church. Funny LOL. Okay, I just had to stop it here. I think it's kind of lame that you got to sit there and show other people's videos within your video and on your channel. You know what I mean? Because it's like... Oh, wait a second. Crap. Wow, this is awkward. Well, let me just end the show with a dance, I guess.